Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And last fall, I showed you guys a video where I just dumped thousands and thousands of tulips instead of meticulously planting them like I have in years past. This was after I saw the way that the huge ones do it, like in Holland and stuff, they just drive a tractor and dump them in the hole. So I thought, okay, if it works for them, it must work for me, right? So I thought I'd come out here to the tulips and guys, it's still wicked early here in spring for upstate New York. It's um, 39 degrees right now. It's rather chilly. Let's head over to where I have them planted. And here we are. We have thousands of tulips. Now, some of them are early, some of them are late. So they're all coming up at different rates. But as we go down, everybody is showing me their delicious little tulip heads. So this method, I'm gonna say, is so far successful. We have definite growth. So basically the bulbs and the plants, they just find their way up. So if you plant it sideways, upside down, backwards, um, you know, mother nature knows what it's doing. So these obviously are a late, late one cause they're just coming. Those ones are gonna bloom a little bit sooner. And as you keep going down here, the, di the dirt's a little bit deeper over here. You can see these guys are just poking up too. So far, so good. We are probably about a month away from when I normally start harvesting tulips. Mother's Day is a big tulip sale weekend for me. I had a tulip bouquet bar at the shop last year. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I think we sold more than 150 bouquets last Mother's Day. So hopefully we'll have maybe even more this year. Do you guys remember last year um, I had, oh, it's muddy and squishy in here. <laughs> Do you guys remember last year I had um, the hailstorm? So there were a lot of tulips that I never pulled. They're coming back. So this, I'm pretty sure, oh my gosh, oh gosh. I might have to change my shoes before I go to the shop. So not all of them, but it looks like quite a few of them, even though this area has been tilled, they're coming back. We'll see if they have, um, you know, an actual flower or if it's just the greenery. Oh my gosh. My foot feels like it's eight pounds. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm wearing white crew socks. Leave me alone. But this makes me very happy and it's a sign of beauty to come. So if you guys were wondering, I know there was a lot of criticism. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. What are you doing? Da, 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 da. That's not how everybody else does it. Well, Sometimes you just gotta think outside the box. And so far, so good. I can't wait to plant my beds. I have a perennial bed of strawberries in this. Oh my, I'm slipping and sliding in the mud here, guys. I have strawberries in here. These guys are, these are good. Oh, this clearly is not a strawberry. <laughs> that's not it. And then I have a climbing rose here that's absolutely gorgeous. Trying to think about what I wanna put in this raised bed this year. I'm not sure. I did green beans in it last year and that did really well. So I might do that again. And the clematis, uh, you can't really see it. It's that really spindly. And then I have the, the pole beans still on there from last year. I'll, I'll have to clean that off soon. But the clematis really climbed up nicely last year. I'm hoping that it um, climbs and multiplies even better this year. All ye tomato steaks. I absolutely love these steaks. They're weather resistant. They're coated metal so that, you know, they can kind of just hang out outside. I did not put them away in the off season. Kind of just set them here right next to the raised bed because I will be using these again in just a short while. It's actually a little bit of a longer while. I almost walked into the gate. I almost walked into the gate. It'll be, I mean, It'll be probably late May before we get tomatoes in the ground here. We don't have, you know, our last frost is anywhere between May 20th ugh, and uh, June 2nd, really. <laughs> but usually if you look at the forecast in mid-May and look to see what, you know, the extended forecast is, you can plan your dates then. Yeah, I'm gonna go change my shoes before I go. Um, I love these though. Last year I was in a lot of pain walking around because I'm at the shop for sometimes 16 to 18 hours a day. I have zero pain with these sneakers, so love it. Okay guys, just wanted to show you an update on the tulips and how they were doing. And uh, I will be back soon with more updates. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you then.
I'm not even walking in the house with these. Oh my goodness. Oh, gonna get a dirty sock. Oh no, oh man. Okay, it's your turn.